Mobile City Council will consider a ban on the sale of pets at flea markets and street corners in Mobile. It's our big story right now at 10. The ban is on tomorrow's council agenda. Local 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, why is the mayor pushing for this change? Well, quite simply, Greg, this move comes after numerous complaints after pets sold at flea markets. She was just precious. She was adorable. Who could resist this sweet face? We fell in love with her. Dottie Gilly couldn't when she saw this Bassett puppy at the flea market Mobile this March. But soon after her $400 purchase, it became apparent Daisy was very sick. Dottie's vet had a bleak prognosis. He didn't think she'd make it through the week. Dottie says she complained to the breeder at the flea market who sold her the dog. He was just... <laughs> He didn't care. You know, he had my money and he was he didn't care. Yeah, boy, you're a good girl. A thousand dollars later in vet bills, Dottie says Daisy is doing just fine. Sadly, Dottie's experience at the flea market is not unique. We see a lot. It's hip dysplasia. Veterinarian Mike Rem says far too often people bring in sick animals purchased at flea markets. Common issues, he says, include an intestinal parasite known as coccidia and the highly contagious virus parvo. Which is more devastating. It is a life-threatening disease. And those dogs usually, you know, it's vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and, and death. No one was available for an interview from the flea market. A person working here today also told us they could not provide contact information for any of the breeders. You know, buying a pet from a flea market just may not be the best place to start. Due to so many complaints, the mayor's office is now stepping in, proposing a ban on the sale of pets, not just at flea markets, but also on any street corner or swap meet in Mobile. I'm all for it. You know, I won't, I won't buy any more out there. I know that. And this proposed animal code also updates the language on animal cruelty and clarifies definitions, which the city says often become an issue during the prosecution phase. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea, thanks.